So good morning, August the 28th, 2014. This is CISG 114, Section 2, Web Technology and Light, in the second class of the first week in the first semester, 2014-13. Let's get started. Welcome back. I hope that I just play some good music for you. I enjoyed this game very much. Today's class is the second class in the semester. If you happen to remember, this is the sign I brought you to introduce you to what we're going to do in this semester on Monday. Now, may I ask you to spend two minutes time to go back to our Monday's class to see what we have talked about. Two minutes on each one of you thinking about what we should have learned from this. Okay? Two minutes. If you happen to walk into the classroom just seconds ago, spend one to two minutes going back to our Monday's class and ask yourself a simple question, what we should have learned and what we should have brought into this classroom today. Okay. Do you remember one or two things from our discussions that's on Monday? Okay, any suggestions? You can just raise your hand and give it something. Now remember, I'm going to give you time in each class, studying particular next week, that your job is to make sure you participate in the class and tell it something that you pick up from the class discussions, but also from reading Continuous we post on the website. And that is part of your class participation score. How many scores can you earn from doing things like this? What is the advantage of doing it? Yes? I thought you were raising your hand. Okay. Okay, now if you happen to forget, make sure that you will think back. But I'm going to give you this video, which is a recording from last week, last Monday, August 25th, 2014. This is CISU 114, Section 2, Web Technology Online. Today is the first class of the semester. And I have not put it on YouTube yet because the whole photo environment is going to be ready by next Monday. But that means I'm going to tell you that. Um, at the end of each class, we're going to have a video like this, put on YouTube, and there's a link to see it here, okay? Along the photo window, and you can watch them at your own convenience. This is CISP 114, Section 2, if I remember, right? Web technology, and I don't section 1. Oh, it's okay. Please take the seat, alright? Um, so, CISG is a general education course, alright? And the name of this course is Web Technology and Life. And the code of this course is CISG 114. And the section of this course is 02. Okay? So, I'm going to give you all this essential information to make sure that you know that you're not entering the wrong classroom. Alright, um, you can watch it at home, study next week in our modern environment. Uh, unfortunately, due to some kind of technical adaptations, I guess not happened in this class, but in our class, somehow I got cut off, and then I'm just doing a try one now. But because this is new campus, not the old campus, so it's okay, because every class we're going to have things like this. Let me go back to the questions. Have you thought about anything you pick up from 
about last class. Anything you remember? Yes. Uh, I remember that we should follow the rubrics to rubrics. get high rate. Okay, the rubrics are important. So what exactly are rubrics? Okay, the, the rubrics are actually the criteria we use to give you a grade. So you need to be aware of the rubrics, and the rubrics are already there. Thank you very much. Any, any out? Anything else? Do you remember how many assignments do you need to work out in this semester? How many assignments? Ah, thank you. Three. Sorry, yes. What do we call such assignments? I just remember something about the journal. Journals, okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Anything else from any other? Journals are one. Now, the question is very simple. How many major assignments do you have to work out in the semester? Major assignment, one, two, three, four, five, no. One. How many? One. Okay. The suggestion is one. Can you find out? Okay. Now, if you want to find out the answer to these questions, I would highly recommend you to come back to this course site and you go to the link called Submission. Submissions. Okay. You click on the link called Submission. And you will be brought to this page. Now, don't worry much about the dates here because I, I just discovered I have not changed the date. These are bought forward from last semester. I will change the date immediately. So when you look at these course submissions website, you can tell how many major assignments you need to work out and how many minor duties of submissions you need to complete starting next week. Next week is week number two. Forget about the day, as I said, I've really changed it. You need to pass to me, well, as I said here, why am you a model email, but I'm going to use a forum to do it, so don't worry much about the method. The pair partners information. Do you remember? You need to have a learning partner in this class to work with you to get something done. This is an important information you need to bring forward from last class. Now, do you remember, you need to have a learning partner. So, how do you produce a learning partner for yourself? How? How? Ask them. Yes, how do you ask them that you don't even know them? So, each one of you is going to be given one to two minutes today. And I've just finished one round in our classes. You're going to stand up here holding the microphone and introduce yourself. Where are you from? Which faculty? Or better say which area? Macau, mainland China, Hong Kong, or any of anything else, anywhere else. And uh, your faculty, your department, your major. Okay? Or uh, you if you could. Give it some sense of where you got your secondary education. It happens to be in Macau, the name of the school. And uh, are you a trustworthy person? Can I trust you to become my learning partner? Okay, something like this, whatever you can think of in two minutes' time. And then by next Monday, when our Buddha environment is up, when you come back here, I'm going to invite you to go on to the Buddha forum to type in a simple response to indicate who your learning partner is, okay? So that uh, we know at a glance who is working with whom, okay? So but today is a good time for you to introduce yourself, and I'm going to give you another 15 minutes after your introduction to talk to people, okay? So that you know who you're going to invite. So when you look at week number four, this is the fourth week into the semester. You need to produce a team pair information. So remember, you started out by inviting someone to become your learning partner, and the two of you will become one pair. One pair. So you start out with the first 
major assignment. We call the learning contract number one, and it's a pair work. But somehow, in the second learning contract, your pair needs to find another pair. Okay? And you the two pairs join hands together and to form a team. So by week number four, you need to work out who is your team pair. Okay? So once your pair is formed by next Monday, I'm going to give you a name of your pair. Okay? And then the name of two pairs will be formed and produced team, which I will also give each team a name. So that will be what you need to do by week number four. Well, in a similar manner that you're going to produce the information. But remember, each student has to do that. Not, oh, my, my peer partner is going to do that for me. I do not need to do it. Each student has to do it. And this is a rule you need to remember, including the very important things when you submit your work later. In this, in this, and that individual student has to do it. Okay? And then when you look at the major assignment submission day is in week number four two, which is the end of learning contract number one, I call your major assignment as a learning contract because because I consider each one of you is an adult. You're no longer an adolescent. An adult is a person who knows what is meant by responsibility. Okay? The bottom line of this course is each student must be responsible for your own learning and must be responsible for your portions of work in your peer work, in your teamwork, and in your, later on, the task force work. What is meant by task force? If you look at week number seven, by the time you finish the second, or better say, by the time you start up your second learning contract, I would invite individual team, which contain two pairs, to look for another team, and the two teams join hand together to form a task force. So that the task force, it's a bigger team. You start out with two person, and it transitions to four persons team, and it transitions to eight persons task force. Okay? So you have many more manpower than is expected. But the question is, does it mean many hands make things simple, things means learning, or many hands spoil the things? Okay? But you need to learn the lessons, teamwork. And then on week number seven again, you need to complete and submit the artifacts for learning contract number two. And week number 10, another three weeks later, the learning contract number three. So you have four weeks for learning contract number one, including this week, three weeks for learning contract number two, and another three weeks for learning contract number three. So with these 10 weeks completed, you're ready to put things together to create your personal learning portfolio, which is the landmark of your learning record and achievements in this course. Now, it's very important that you understand that I do not value disagree. I value that you understand whatever time you spend learning something, you're responsible for keeping records of the learning and keeping records of your personal achievements in your learning. Now, in the past, when we talk about records of learning or achievements record, we talk about the grade you receive in your homework, the grade you receive in your test, the grade you receive in your final exam, or the grade you receive in your project. Now, these are all important. I'm not saying these are not important. But in the context of this course and subsequent courses that you take for teachers who understand the meaning of that, is that beside the grade, we want to attach to each grade a true and authentic record of your work. Okay, so that by looking at your grade, I can also appreciate what 
type of living evidence you can create to support your grain. And so the learning portfolio, it's exactly this particular context. We're going to invite you to put together all the work you've finished in the peer work, in the teamwork, in the task force work, and extract your personal contributions from that, and that is your learning and also an achievement with evidence of my comments, your peer partner's comment, your teammate's comment, your task force members come in, okay? So if you happen to be a coordinator in a project, or if you happen to be the secretary to keep track of the work for the team, or you happen to be the liaison person keeping people in touch so that they do not skip or escape or lose anything important, that is your contributions. Uh, you need to put it in your learning portfolio. How do you verify it? Normally, we have meetings, and so meeting we have minutes, Normally, you did some reading, you have a general record. Normally, you've done some discussions with your team member where you have a forum record. And normally, when you join hands with your members to write a report together, you have the wiki records. Okay? And finally, when you have a product, which is a Microsoft Word document representing your report, you have the record. So in a report, normally, it's done by several people together. Now, even though you're not the person who write them, but you are the person doing the research behind it, okay? So you're responsible for all the ideas expressed, you need to sign off your part, okay? Something like this is very valuable for your learning in subsequent um, the work of life, when you go to the society, when you work in a company, when you work in a high education institute as a graduate student or whatever it is, you need to get yourself used to this kind of um, environment. So the learning portfolio is very important. It tells you, please do not forget what you did here. That means what you learned here. You need to bring it forth to contribute to your teamwork. And you produce something here. You bring it forth to contribute to your task force work. And you bring in ideas. And you, how do you help other people to integrate the ideas under context of web technology and life, of course, under this particular course. But you can look at it very carefully. This approach, as I mentioned in our Monday's class, does not require you to memorize a lot. There's no such thing as memorizations or just like the test, you need to reproduce the knowledge. But it requires of you to construct a lot, to put things together, to externalize your knowledge a lot. And that is what we call, you need to construct something out of your ideas. And you need to connect your idea with your member's idea. And so that they will build up a picture which is more than what one person can achieve. So, a portfolio is very interesting, it's challenging. So that is something I want to make sure you remember. Okay, I use more than 10 minutes time to come back to this page in order to make sure that you remember there are three major assignments you need to complete in this semester and each assignment is considered as a learning contract. The term learning contract is used because you are considered as an adult. The bottom line requirement for each learning contract is a sense of responsibility on each person involved and how can you be responsible the right way? Now we're going to deal with that question later. Today, we're talking about responsibility is important. This is the bottom line, okay? In Chinese, people will say, In English, we say, well, learning takes effort, okay? If you want to get yourself um, familiar with something, be someone who can share knowledge with others, you need to go through a process, okay? You don't boast a lot, but you go through a process, okay? You share with them the concrete experience. All right, so you got this. We start out at 11.15, oh, 11.30, 
I've used up my first 15 minutes, now I'm into the second 5 minutes, 10 more minutes, okay. So, uh, allow me to just say, assessment. Now, many of you are very much concerned with this scheme, so I am going to remind you, you need to read this. Yes, definitely, journal is important, but in the context of our work, journal is only the first step. Journal represents the basic effort to do note-taking, okay, and to do some basic uh, information gathering. So if you look at the assessment for the semester, we have three learning contracts. Wow, surprisingly, each learning contract does not take a lot of score, 10% each, okay? Each learning concept, con contract, just 10%. That means you do not have a lot to lose, even though you fail in getting the perfect contract done. These are learning curve exercises. You're getting used to a, a way to learn method with a very low cost, even though you lose it, okay? And each learning contract gives you 10%, it does not mean it's not worthwhile. It's very worthwhile in the context of learning. Whenever we have something new to get a comfort or to get familiar with, we expect to lose a little bit, even though we fail to do it. So each learning contract just 10%. Now when you look at the learning portfolio, it's two times each learning contract. So does it mean we just have um, 50% in the semester? No, but this is the basic you need to understand. So, as I said, after you've done the free learning contract, you need to put them together in the context of your individual learning portfolio. That means you need to extract from each one of those your personal contributions. And then you need to produce your digital story to represent your learning in the semester. A digital story is basically written in the form, first of all, you produce a PowerPoint presentations, and then you narrate, provide voice over the PowerPoint, so that you can generate a digital story which can replay and play by anybody, without even your presence there, because you record your explanations or presentations there. And that definitely you need to write a simple report. That it's, all of these could be directly transfer to your Mahara e-portfolio, okay? So, but we're going to elaborate on that later. So, how about the other 50%? So, first of all, you need to understand, in this class, we have a number of things which is quite new to you compared to the traditional class. First of all, we introduce something called learn-to-learn -learn activity. The learn-to-learn -learn activity will give you 15% Okay, out of the remaining 50%. And learn to learn activities mainly include your reading every week. Remember, we're reading assignments. Your online reflective work, including your journals, your forum discussions with your learning partner, your collaborative writing with your teammates, and your personal problems. In other words, while you're doing your first learning contract, second learning contract, the third learning contract, you're producing some artifact, but the, the fact of the matter that you're doing the reading, you're doing the writing, you will be rewarded once again from this score called learn to learn activity. Now basically, what I'm expecting my student to produce for learn to learn activity is we have 10 wins for the, um, uh, for the free learning contracts, okay? And then we have the four wins for the learning portfolio. I expect my student to produce um, the journal for one question in each of the 10 words. Now, if you look at the reading list, in each reading list, which is on a weekly basis, you have more than one question, okay? And under each question, I have more than one information item for you to choose, okay? In other words, if you keep up your effort to learn something from this class, in each reading list, you select one question to explore, 
and you select at least one information item under that questions to do your notes with. Okay? With that journal done, you're well set for the first. Okay? And for the forum notes, um, all together, you should produce 10 sets of journal, one for each question, so that from each week of the first 10 weeks. But you need to take five sets of those 10 sets of journals and take each one of these five sets and discuss with your learning partner or your teammates or your task force member, anyone you can choose. But you must leave the discussion record in a specific forum, which I'm going to tell you starting next week, okay? Now, at the end of this semester, if I look at your journal, which is an electronic notebook, which I'm going to give you, I can find 10 set of journal based on 10 questions you explore, one from each week. You're well set for the journal score. And if I look at your discussion forum, I can discover five set of discussion record based on five questions, which is select from the 10 set of journal here that you elaborate with your learning partner, with your teammate, with your task force member, you will be well set for this set of score. And if I discover two wiki collaborative writing on how you further explore the idea and produce some kind of report like the discussions topics with one, two, or three, whatever number you can name, that you will be qualified to receive the scores of the wiki. And finally, definitely, from the five sets of discussions deep records brought forward from the forum, if I discover five individual blocks of yours, and each one of these is based on the discussion forums topic, you will be well set for them. So if that means all of these, are, you have a lot of choices. Okay? You have a lot of choices. But if you did all of these starting from reading and watching the video, eventually you got 15% in a semester. Uh, it's not based on teacher's assignment. It's based on how you navigate your path to do your work based on the rules of the game. Okay? And remember, most of the work here you're supposed to do, you should have done it in the learning contract 1, 2, and 3. Okay? You're not doing two sets of things separately. You're doing one thing that you are highly encouraged to look back on what you did here and improve it. And this is a chance for you to improve it. And you will have another set of score allocated then. So think a little bit about this. This is very interesting. Just like when you go to work, between two job offer, how are you going to select which one is better? Maybe this is $10,000 per month job. This is um, $9,000 per month job. But here, you got housing subsidy. Okay? And there you do not have any housing subsidy. And you need to evaluate which one works for you. All right? So when I design this learning experience, I do not design a lot of things that the teacher is going to design for you. I set policy so that you are going to design what you're going to do to earn the score. All right? So in-class participation is very important. Look at it 20%. If you ever try to come up here, standing in front of the whole class to do some kind of sharing. Quizzes will be given by me for the whole class. Sharing or presentations or discussions with class hours based on what you've learned in class and also from the sides we provide in the past weeks. In every week, in every class, as I said, I'm going to provide at least 15 minutes time to all of you it's up to you to choose whether or not you want to participate, but every time you participate and do that sharing here, it will be counted as one incidence of your classroom participations. And what does it mean? 20%. Towards the end of the semester, I'm going to ask each one of you to give me a list of your classroom participations incidents starting from week number three or week number two. And then you just need to list the number of activity with a date and time and a topic and together with a video which I'm going to provide to you, okay? I'm going to 
take you with that. You will earn two points per incident. So you've done 10 times, full score 20% will be yours. This is one way to encourage you to participate in class, to share with your buddies here what you did. Okay? You do not need to tell them everything, but you can tell them something interesting. All right? And finally, we do not have a final exam, but we do have a midterm exam in the form of discussions, questions, which is very much modeled under the format of learning contract one, learning contract two, and then contract three. You need to select a topic, means a question. You need to select an information item under the questions. You need to do some notes. You need to share that with your learning partner, discuss with them in class within a two hour period, or better say 1.5 hour period, and then you will got 15% of that. So that is another 15% that you're going to earn. Now make sure you study that carefully, and if you have any question, ask me next week, all right? This is very important for you. You need to know how you're going to earn your grade, and in what way. And is it interesting to you, or is it too much, all right? But I'm always open. These are the policies, then, all right? So now, I must stop talking, and I'm going to invite you to come up here one to two minutes, each one of you, to do a simple introduction to myself. I need some helper to hand out the microphone. Okay, with the two of you willing to do that, one on this side, one on the other side. So this side is easy because you can easily fit this one with the five persons, and then this side, you need two persons, one on the left, one on the right. Okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm to do the video tape. All right, so I'm going to stop here so that I give you. At least 15 minutes time to do the introductions and another 15 minutes time to do a talking. All right. So um, I would like to say one on this side, the other on the other side, just pass the microphone to the first one and you pass the microphone to the second one and we're going to get set. So, yeah, the lady there. Yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Could you just walk up there? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. At the center stage of the classroom. Hi. Uh, hi everyone. My name is Margaret and I'm a local student. Uh, I graduate from Cheshire Key Perpetual Health College and I'm now in the FSS uh, faculty, uh, majoring in communication. And I lived in SHEAC, that is Stanley Hall East Asia College. Um, and nice to meet you guys, and feel free to find me, and I'm welcome that you will be my partners. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so the other side, could you pass the microphone to the first one? Yes. Thank you, CC. Hello, everyone. My name is Jack. Yes. So my major is urban administration, and my faculty is social science. Yes, you know. And I'm quite interested in computers. So uh, if you want to be my partner, please feel free to ask me. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Jen, and my major is economics. So I, I'm from FSS, and I live in Macau and from Macau, and I. <laughs> And just want you to be my partner. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Jen. 
comes quite a lot. And um, from uh, my major is English studies, and my work, uh, I live in Taiwan. So glad to be your partner. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, my Chinese name is Wu Jinyi. My English name is Emily. I come from Guangzhou. My faculty is FBA. My major is accounting. I love the classical music so much. I can play the piano. And I invite you to be my partner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hi. Uh, my Chinese name is Ou Zhengxun, and I'm a Taiwanese. Uh, but I used to study in mainland China, so I can know Taiwanese, Chinese, Cantonese, and English. So I will try my best to participate in the work. Thank you. Uh, that's all. Thank you very much. Hello, hi everyone. My name is Simon Wan, and you can call me Ivy. And I from Beijing, and so I can't understand Cantonese so far. And um, I'm in faculty FSS, and I study communication. Um, hope to be friends with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Selena. Um, my faculty is I, ICSM, my major is Biomedical Science. Um, I'm from Macau, but I'm, my nationality is Portuguese. I can speak Cantonese, Portuguese, and English. Um, I'm a very shy person. I tend to just fade away, so if ever you want to be my partner, please do talk, because if I do get close to people, I'm more fun. Promise, okay? I'm not that shy. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you. Um, so my name is Benson, and uh, uh, although I'm born in the Macau, but I uh, stayed in Shanghai for a very long time, and uh, my major is the uh, economic major and uh, from FSS. So if you find uh, my major to be your partner, I will be very happy to Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Stanley. I come from Macau. My major is Government and Public Administration. Um, nice to meet you all and I like, um, hope, hope we have a nice semester. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm from Hong Kong, and my faculty is social science, and my major is economics. And every person can be my partner. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Su, and you can call me Suren. It's my nickname. Uh, I'm a half local person. Uh, I used to study in Guangzhou, so I can speak Cantonese, Putonghua, and English. Uh, I love singing and doing some sports, and I hope to make friends with everyone. Uh, and hope everyone can enjoy your. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, 
nice to meet you all guys. Hi, my name is Tini. I come from Hong Kong and I study in FSS as the, my major is economics and I live in Silbon College and and nice to meet you all and thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Cindy. I'm start, my major is Japanese study. I'm very happy to see everyone here and I'm very looking forward to be my panel. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Hesta. I come from Macau. My major is communication and nice to meet you all. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Hello everyone, my name is CC. My major is communication and I hope you can be my partner. Thank you. Thank you, CC. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kiel. I'm a local student, and my faculty is FEH. And I am studying Japanese study. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Tim. I live in Macau. I am from FAH. My major is Japanese D2. Nice to meet you all. Thank you. Nice to meet you. And I'm, uh, my name is Wilson, so I uh, major in economic and my faculty is FSS. And uh, uh, feel free to be my partner, and I'm a nice guy. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Li Rui. I'm from Zhuhai. My major is English study. I'm from FAH. My residential college is Xiupong College. And I'm interested in having tests. Also, everyone can be my partner, but I prefer one who likes having tests. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now we have two helpers left. And uh, would you please go ahead and introduce yourself, lady first? Yes. Good morning everyone, my name is Sheldon. I come from Macau and I'm studying in the FFS faculty, majoring in communications. Nice to meet you all, but I've already chose my partner of Julio. Thank you. It's your turn. Hello everyone, 
My name is Julio. My major is economics from FSS. I live in Jiang Yutong College. My partner is Shadows. Thank you, Stella. Thank you. Well, we have a good time. Uh, I appreciate all of you. You're brave enough to speak in front of the class to introduce yourself. And uh, definitely, it would not be easy if it's the first time you ever stand in front of the, a bunch of strangers to help uh, introduce yourself. Now, definitely, just by this one bit of introduction, it will not be enough for us to know someone. So, you have 15 minutes now to go around the room. Do not fix yourself on your chair. Just walk around and you want to talk to anybody, and uh, you're welcome, okay? And you need to do some exercise. We call it eyes breaking. Well, in the United States, when I was the first one, uh, don't do eyes breaking in a room like this, but do it in a room with shall we dance, something <laughs> like this. So just help yourself, all right? So get to, get to know one another. This is a class. It's such a wonderful opportunity to be in this class to know someone, right, at least in one semester together. I tell you what, I used to bring sweets in the second class, but this is a new campus. Um, normally I go to St. Chen and buy something. But I think I, I need some time to adapt myself. So maybe starting from next week, during class there's some sweets here, or drinks or something. It's my trip, all right, so when I invite you to talk. So, Help yourself. One thing I don't like classroom like this is too cinema-like. Learning is not a spectator sport. Learning is something you need to sit around the table and talk. Okay, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> look around, look around, look around, look around. Hi, look around, look around. Okay, well. Help yourself, you help yourself. <laughs> Oh, 
It's great that I see some of you brought in the iPad. That's a very good device. Now you can see the, uh, the girls and pastors along girls and boys and pastors along boys. Now let's see if the boys are willing to ice break with some of the girls and pastors. Okay? Tom!
穿那种。又又是又是这个，又是又是。真真男仔同女仔拉埋一齐。我哋我哋好尊重啲女性嘅，但我哋唔可以俾男仔俾你啫。我想问下你哋，你有边个喺澳门读中学嘅？举手。边间中学？龙校。仲有咧？嘅平仲有咧？星星座嘅，我讀嘅，我讀中學嘅。嗱，我係女校男生嚟嘅，當時我係我讀嘅時候係小學二年班同三年班。你好，我我讀嘅時候你定未出世？我做過電視編輯嘅，我做過。我哋七十年代嘅，零零年代嘅電影嘅，佢就買咗落嚟。你知唔知邊個歌星叫我嘅？我覺得有一首歌咧係最出名嘅。係呢首嘢。第一首最出名嘅，你知道係幾多年嘅首？仲有一首出名歌叫《女下歌山》，呢啲就係。
，大家認住佢我哋。唔係講笑啫，但係其實應該一一次過，即係唔係咁簡單。咁但係幫你哋嘅經歷住咗幾耐？啊，住咗幾耐？好耐？住咗幾耐？你真係消化唔住咁多嘢。哦，哎呀，都得，都得好耐。即係一個星期啊！啊，但係開唔開心咧？我而家做開。我哋第時嚟探下你。喂，嗱，你未住過書院啊？講真啊，我帶你去嗰度認識下你哋。嗱，最多請食飯，第一餐我冇問題。你大個仔啦，你條麻仔當係師兄請你嚟。你認識個書院制度，下個月唔係下一年，下個學期讀，佢全幫住。但係你即刻攞上嚟。哦，可能得。不過你呢個點稱呼嚟？阿 Ken， 你你。咩啊？咩嘢？好啊，好啊，好啊！我真係好開心喎！你中唔中意玩音樂㗎？唔識玩，唔識玩。有啲咩中意玩嘅？打球。嗱，我介紹個球員俾你。你係邊間書院嘅？霍英東書院條眉。佢佢打球咧就跟住佢唔死得㗎啦。呢呢個第二個啊，九個，第三個。第四個嗱，你一路咁落嘅，我其實真係好難得㗎。你有機會第一年翻咁樣住書院，夜晚我一齊小朋友食宵夜啊，咁就啊，去邊度啊？東亞街上嚟啊，刺沙兩字熟啊！我哋當年跟啲黑鬼出去，我哋都驚啊！揸住佢嗰間咯，三萬五百六十蚊。
吧，都 OK 的。
That's it for today's CISG 114 Section 2 Web Technology and Light on August the 28th, 2014. Until next Monday, stay in tune.